What's up guys, it's your boy DS, and today we're going to be going over the Katakuri Katana. Now seeing as everyone had to start off with this weapon, everyone's used the weapon already, so I want to go ahead and make a guide for any of you that stuck out with this weapon and are still using this weapon now. Now the first thing I want to talk about are the different combo strings that you can do. You obviously have the light combo string, which is this. And uh, this is pretty good just for getting off some quick damage. It doesn't do too much damage, but it's decently fast. So if you are just trying to get in, get a little bit and get out, that is a really nice thing to use. Now, let's say that the kimono has been knocked down, stunned, sleep, whatever the case may be, and you have a lot of time on your hands. Then you want to do your heavy attack string. Now, this is going to take a long time to finish, but it does do insane amount of damage. As you guys see right there, it does do a lot of damage, but it does take a while to get it done. So if you guys have a lot of time on your hands, you can do that. Now, the last one I want to talk about is your special, which is just going to be the dash into the swings and then into the slide. Now, there is a way to actually use a lot of these different moves together without having to do the entire extent of them. As you can see, if you do your light into your special, you can go into the swings already. And then if you do your heavy into your special, you can go into the slide right there. So you don't necessarily have to do the entire full combos. You do have ways to basically get some of the moves out automatically. And you can actually animation cancel like the heavy into your special. Instead of doing the slash first, you can actually just go into the slide. As you see right there. And the same thing is with the light. You can just go into the multi slash. Now, I do want to mention if you guys are trying to get off some quick damage and you have a little bit of time, but you don't have the most time in the world, the multi slashes with the light into the special is probably going to be the best thing for you. Now, keep in mind, you can actually do this move infinitely as long as you have stamina. As you can see, you can light, special, light, special, light, special. So you can do this move over and over as long as you have stamina. Just keep in mind, once you do the special move, you are held in place. You're not able to do anything until after the sequence is over. Now, speaking of the Katakuri, you can actually do a boss jump into a downward slash. But the thing about this is the higher you jump off the boxes, the more damage you'll do. So if we add two more to this and jump off, we're going to do more damage than if we only had one box. Another thing you can do is going to be the spring jump. And this will do like a multi-slash move whenever you jump off. You can also use the torch, which is going to be really nice because not only does it give you a fire slash, it fo puts fire on your sword, which allows you to do some fire damage for a couple of seconds, which is going to be really nice if uh, maybe the kimono is weak to fire or whatever, and you can keep igniting it as long as you do have the torch out. So that is going to be really nice for you as well. Another move you have is the glider move. You will do like these spinning attacks going down if you jump off of your glider. So that's going to be really nice. And now I want to talk about the super. The super for the katana doesn't change any of your moveset. It just makes your character so much stronger. You do way more swings. It's insane. As you guys see right here, I'm going to go ahead and use it. And you use it by using your special and then pressing your light or heavy attack. But as you guys see... You will still do the same moves. It simply just gives your your sword so much more damage and you're doing a lot more multi hits. Now, as I said before, your heavy combo string is going to be the most damage for you. So let's say you do that in your super form. It's going to be insane. As you guys see right there, it's going to be really good for you. But once again, if you don't have that much time, you do want to just go into this move right here. Because that's going to be really good for you. There you guys go. Now, overall, the katana is a very fast weapon. So there are times where, you know, maybe you're running and you want to get in there and go into your light combo. Or maybe you want to, uh, 
you know, you're running and you slide in, you want to get in a light into your special, whatever the case may be, the katana is going to allow you to get off some quick damage and get out as fast as possible. Now, you definitely want to make sure you are getting in and getting out, but you want to maximize your damage, so you do want to know all the things that you're capable of doing while you have the katana. Now, as far as the skills go, you obviously want to take anything that will give you extra damage, like Savage or anything like that. But one of the first things you want to make sure you guys are taking is Critical Chance. And that's simply because you the weapon is fast, so you are going to be doing a lot of hits. And in doing a lot of hits, you are going to have a lot of chances to proc Critical Strikes. So you do want to take any critical things that you can. So anytime you do critical, you'll get off a lot of damage and you can crit as often as possible. Now, another thing is Dual Master, which is going to be really nice because it boosts the amount of release gauge whenever you or your attack connects so basically it allows you to get your ult faster and then another one is going to be trickster which also boosts the amount of, uh the release gauge increases from attacks incorporating basic kind of curry so anytime you're jumping off a box anytime you're using a torch or a spring you will also get increases as well and the last one i'm going to talk about is critical chain critical chain is very nice because if you land a crit it will give you an increased chance to crit again. So it's just really good because if you land one crit, it'll give you an increased chance to land another crit. And then if you land that crit, rinse or piece over and over and over and over, it'll keep giving you a chance to land additional crits. So it's a really nice uh, skill to have on your weapon because it's just going to basically net you tons of damage so there you guys go that is my katakuri katana guide i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys think in the comment section about that being said i will see you guys next time peace